Hi everyone, welcome to A Grey Barn Rising. I'm reading the poems this evening of the Brazilian poet Adelia Prado, wonderful, marvelous writer. Uh, and I'm sitting here, of course, with Bootsy Beagle, who's completely blissed out and half asleep. And I want to read from two of Adelia Prado's books today. She actually writes in Portuguese, and I want to read the translations of Ellen Watson, uh, both from the alphabet in the park, which is the first book of Adelia Prado's I ever came to, and her most recent book, Ex Voto, also translated by Ellen Watson. One of the things I really admire about Adelia Prado is her sense of the divinity in all things, um, and yet at the same time, that divinity is only achieved through the world of the concrete. You're going to hear very common, ordinary language in her work, um, sort of uh, in the in the mode of William Carlos Williams, no ideas but in things, but I would probably uh, offer no divinity but in things for Adelia Prado. So this first book of, uh, or this first poem of Prado's that I'd like to read um, is called Head. Whenever I had an attack of nerves, I would refuse to walk under electric wires. I was afraid of rain, of lightning, and I got nauseous just thinking about certain animals, which I won't mention, or I'd have to wash out my mouth with ashes. I would pick up every fruit peel in sight. Now that I'm cured, I have a life and so much more. Already I can touch the wires when the switch is off, and I got myself this plastic rain cape, which I wear day and night, even when I'm sleeping. If it happens to rain, no problem. I don't bother anymore about fruit peels, even banana or mango. Let somebody else take care of them. The signs I put up all over, beware, work just fine. It's really quite charming for a bishop to have apostolic zeal. I never tire of explaining this to the pastor of my diocese, but he doesn't understand. He merely says, Oh dear, dear, dear. He thinks it's woman's live. It's, he thinks it's women's live. He thinks faith is way up there, and here below there's only bad taste. It's awful, just awful. No one understands. I used to scream continuously when I had an attack of nerves. There's a lot of delight in Adelia Prado's work, as I think you heard in that poem as well, where she makes her point and there's a deep sense of emotion, but also this incredible delight. And I think that comes from her embrace of the concrete world. This is entitled, Not Even One Line in December, also from the alphabet in the park. I never want to desire death unless out of holiness, calling it sister, as St. Francis did. Almost the 25th and not one line. My hips moving back and forth and me not trying to contain the wiggle. I should have walked like this my whole life if I wanted to conquer the world. Dusky butterflies, trash, pebbles, soapy water seeping from the wall. Things offer themselves up to me as I roam the neighborhood. A little girl watches from her tiled porch and not even a line. My work is important because it's all I have. In a three bedroom house with a tired backyard, the soul keeps mo moaning, ah, life. The idea of suicide appears and floats past the TV antenna, but it keeps coming back and not even a line. I need to confess to a man of God. I committed gluttony. I craved the details of other people's frailties. And even though I have a husband, I explored my own body. Not even one line in December. And I was born for this. 
My soul longs to copulate. The wise men rush past me. The star is in hiding. It's raining torrents in Brazil. And finally, this evening, I'd like to share a poem of uh, Prados from Ex Voto, her most recent book, as I mentioned, also translated by Ellen Watson. And this is called The Mystical Rose. The first time I was conscious of form, I said to my mother, Dona Armanda has a basket in her kitchen where she keeps tomatoes and onions. And so began fretting that even lovely things don't last forever. Until one day I wrote, it was here in this room that my father died, here that he wound the clock and rested his elbows on what he thought was a windowsill, but was the threshold of death. I saw that words grouped a certain way made it possible to live without the things they described. My father was coming back indestructible. It was as if someone painted a picture of Dona Armanda's basket and said, now you can eat the fruit. There was order in the world. Where did it come from? And why does order, which is joy itself and bathes in a different light, than the light of day, make the soul sad. We must protect the world from time's corrosion. We must cheat time itself. And so I kept writing, it was here in this room that my father died. Oh, night, come on down. Your blackness can't erase this memory. That was my first poem. Those are just a few of the uh, marvelous poems of the Brazilian poet Adelia Prado. I hope that you will uh, explore her work further. And again, I read this evening from The Alphabet in the Park and Ex Voto. <laughs>